Yeah. All right, so here I am. I've got it customed all the way around the, the trim. And the thing is with the trim, it has to go under it. But you got, you've still got probably about a half inch gap underneath at the high points because, well, it was, it had carpet under it. So that's what's, that's what you're going to be dealing with. If you decide to pull all your carpet out of your house and then uh, put in linoleum, regardless of what it is, whether it's uh, linoleum squares or whatever, you're going to have that gap and that lift. Um, you, can pull your <laughs> you can pull your trim and drop it if you want. Um, and then you're going to, of course, have to repaint paint around it. But, you know, it's, it's, totally to, it's going to be totally up to you. But um, there we are. We have the. Uh, I've still got a. I've got to pull the. Uh, the uh, closet doors, so I can lay that down and cut it, cut it to it. So that's that's about where I'm. I'm left with right at the point with this, with this side of the house or this side of the bedroom anyway, um, and then going on to do the, the rest of the, bedroom. Uh, the next piece is going to come up. And it's going to butt up against, and of course you're going to have you're going to have to deal with the uh, um, seam that you're going to have here. So yeah, I've got to cut. Here's the air return I got to cut out, and uh, over here is a uh, is a register. So we don't basically we don't use that register anyway, so that can stay just like it is. But uh, definitely need the air return because you got two. Got two blower, uh, two um, outlets on two ends of the, the uh, bedroom, and that's what the return does. Is it makes it so the air is flowing through the room, sucking it back down into the, uh, in my case, a geothermal. You didn't hear. And on my blog, and this is around the house. Today, um, we're not only going to finish this section up and preparing it for uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to probably want to paint this in sections so I can get it uh, all one color because that was already painted and prepped before we put the linoleum down but we're going to do the same thing to this one but it's going to stay painted for a while and uh, so we can uh, get the fun stuff Buy some more linoleum. We gotta, we gotta pull up the tags and stuff. But the next, I'm gonna do the hallway. Um, as you can see, the carpet done. <laughs> Between the kids and everything. But all right, I got a, my first layer, my first coat of paint on the floor right now. Um, there's some areas that aren't drying really quick, so. That's telling me either it had stain or some sort of seal or uh, some sort of paint that uh, this paint is not adhering to. So it's probably going to have to be sanded real quick to get it out of there and then uh, repaint it. Um, 
I just put my first, again, first coat down because I want to make sure most of it got dried tonight before uh, all the uh, legs got walking on it. Now the paint I'm using, oh, it's all covered over now. <laughs> um, it's supposed to be a 30 to 60 minute dry um, and recoat in four hours. So, um, unfortunately, it's going to be like about 40, 24 hours before I'm going to get back to doing it again. So, but uh, anyway, that's where we are with the bedroom. And then that's basically just, you know, until we can afford to put the. Get, buy some more linoleum and go ahead and put it down. That's going to be a trick because we're going to need two. We're going to need two things uh, 12 wide. Well, it won't even be 12 wide, but we need it. So it's got to be. You can only get it in 12 wide, so it's going to have to be 12 wide and then whatever's left. Um, probably go. We're probably going to use the rest of it. Go down the hallway, but we got to go. It's got to be 16 feet. 16 feet wide. Well, pretty much got the floor done except for trim area. And um, in certain areas, the stain of the prior floor um, is still keeping the paint wet. Um, it's the only way I'm going to really be able to do it is to. Uh, sand that area down but I think I think we've already decided we're going to go ahead and get the um, break the bank and get some more linoleum roll, roll down linoleum and get this section done as well all right and this segment I'm going to get the get this cut so it slides under there and it looks good, really good there. And then I gotta come back over here. I gotta get some um, two-way floor adhesive spray and go under the seam, which you can really can't see right now, but I gotta do that so that stays down. Next will be coming over here. She's she's picking up the new tile right now. So or the another roll of this so I'll be doing the rest of this today and get a nice piece of get some spray underneath that lock that down and then add the next one Too long and too short. If you got a contractor doing it, you're gonna have a lot of waste. So you know, you've already you've already paid for it, or you're gonna pay for it. It's not coming out of it's definitely not coming out of the contractor's pocket. It's coming out of yours. Which in my wall is not square in length. There it goes. It's at an odd angle.
And we've got a Shih Tzu who likes to mark and mark and mark. If there is a corner, he is going to mark it. Now, how many times you wipe it up? <sighs> I know it's him because the rest of them are downstairs. Okay. He's going to mark his territory because he's daddy. Of course, his sons want to come right back by and mark the same spot that he marked. So it's a double, double whammy. Back on the line is just just cut. Get down quick. Now I'm busy. Daddy's working now. Here we are now. 